You elevate the front part of your foot and you lean That stretches forward. the gastrocnemius. If you bend your knee, you actually stretch a different muscle called your soleus. This really great specific stretching example, as given to us by At Movement by David, points out how different muscles that have very similar attachments but do very different jobs can be stretched based on the position the body is in. And the reason the gastroc is stretched in the straight leg position and not as much in the bent knee position is because the gastroc starts in the femur, whereas the soleus starts on the back of the tibia and fibula. Both will converge on the calcaneus or heel through their shared tendon, the Achilles tendon. So when the leg or the knee is straight and the heel is brought away from it, what we often call dorsiflexion, the upper and lower attachment points are made to be farther away from each other, so the muscles are stretched. When, however, the knee is in a bent position, the gastroc attachments start out closer together, whereas the soleus attachments stay roughly in the same place. So when we go back into that dorsiflexion or stretch, the gastroc muscle still has some slack in it and therefore won't reach a point of stretch, whereas the soleus does not and will be stretched. And this concept is used for specific stretching of a muscle when it's needed. But this relation of longer and shorter muscles that run similar courses and do similar jobs is actually a reflection of how we maintain movement capacity in different positions and happens everywhere in the body. For instance, some of the muscles that move the wrist and fingers start on the radius and ulna, whereas others start in the humerus. This means we can still create wrist movement even when the elbow is in changing positions. Just a little higher up, the brachialis and the biceps brachii muscles share a similar relationship with the changing positions of the elbow and the shoulder joint. In the thigh, we have the vastus muscles that can create knee extension regardless of how the pelvis is positioned and changing the tension on the rectus femoris. And even when the knee is bent, through the gastroc and soleus, we can still create plantar flexion. Of course, it's always better to have multiple muscles working together to create the same motion, but the body is more than smart enough to have a backup.